Now let us see what is written over here. What's written over here is that uh, let us read this question. A 35 year old female she complains of tingling sensation and numbness in the hand which increases in night. Now on the examination the felon test is positive. Which nerve is involved in this condition? Which nerve is involved in this condition? Now the key points over here. What are the key points over here? First is there is a tingling sensation and numbness which is increasing in night. And a very important point, phelan test is positive. Now this completely is pointing towards the carpal tunnel syndrome. It points towards the carpal tunnel syndrome and we know the carpal tunnel syndrome. It is due to the compression of which nerve? It is due to the compression of median nerve. It is due to the compression of median nerve. So the answer for this question will be A. Now let us see how this is there. We will just check see how it is there when we talk about the carpal tunnel how the carpal tunnel is there let us see the carpal tunnel okay if you see this picture over here this is showing the location of the carpal tunnel this is the carpal tunnel over here now where this carpal tunnel is present you can very well see it is present at the level of the wrist it is distal slightly distal to the wrist it is at the level of basically the carpal bones the carpal bones are present over here it is at the level of carpal bones now what is present over here this whitish structure which is present over here is the flexor retinoculum which is attached on either side to the carpal bones and due to the attachment of this flexor retinoculum on either side to carpal bones it creates it creates it creates this tunnel like structure which is deep to it and this tunnel like structure is known as carpal tunnel it is known as the carpal tunnel <clears throat> so let us quickly see over here in this picture you can see this is the flexor retinoculum and it is present it is attached actually on either side to the carpal bones and deep to it whatever structures are coming from the forearm they pass deep to it so what happens there is actually a tunnel a tunnel which is creating deep to the flexor retinoculum through which the structures are passing into the hand and now this tunnel this tunnel which is created deep to the flexor retinoculum this tunnel is known as carpal tunnel this tunnel is known as carpal tunnel now what structures are passing through carpal tunnel for this what we need to do is if we can take a transverse section if i take a section like this so i will be able to see the carpal tunnel also and i will be able to see the structures which are passing through the carpal tunnel and the important nerve which is present or passing through carpal tunnel now this is the transverse section this is the transverse section through this through this point now we can very well see that how the carpal tunnel is created these are the carpal bones these are the carpal bones and this whitish structure this whitish structure is the flexor retinoculum now flexor retinoculum is attached on either side to the carpal bones and when this flexor retinoculum it attaches to the carpal bones like this it creates a tunnel deep to it it creates a tunnel deep to it how this tunnel is created so now this space which is deep to it this tunnel which is created over here between the flexor retinoculum and the carpal bones now this is known as carpal tunnel this area is known as carpal tunnel and there are structures which are coming from the forearm they pass through this carpal tunnel and then they reach towards the hand what are these structures which are passing through it now let us see what are the structures which are passing through it now if we see the structures which are passing through this carpal tunnel now a very important structure is this nerve can you see this nerve i have just drawn yellow color on this nerve a very important structure coming from the forearm it passes deep to the flexor retinoculum this is the nerve and nerve is median nerve it is a very important structure passing deep to flexor retinoculum or through the carpal tunnel apart from it the other structures which are passing in through this carpal tunnel it includes only the muscle tendons the muscle tendons of this one muscle tendon <clears throat> sorry 
so you can see the other structures over here all these are muscle tendons which are passing through this carpal tunnel now talking about this muscle tendon which is present over here now this muscle tendon which is on the lateral aspect this is the tendon of flexor pollicis longus and the rest of the tendons four above four below these are the tendons of flexor digitorum superficialis and flexor digitorum profundus so apart from median nerve you are having all these tendons which are passing through this carpal tunnel now if i say that due to any pathological situation like it can be unit dislocation it can be myxedema it can be pregnancy so there can be any situation which may lead to a uh, compression of this nerve in the carpal tunnel so what are these pathological situations they are doing they are decreasing the space of carpal tunnel so when we talk about the all these pathological situations they decrease the space in the carpal tunnel and when they decrease the space in the carpal tunnel what will happen they will compress the structures of carpal tunnel so when they are compressing the structures of carpal tunnel we are having this important nerve which is running over here and this nerve will be compressed due to the compression of the median nerve what happens it leads to carpal tunnel syndrome <clears throat> it leads to carpal tunnel syndrome what happens in the carpal tunnel syndrome uh, the patient the patient uh, this carpal tunnel syndrome first of all it is more commonly seen in the females so the patient usually comes with the complaints of tingling and numbness tingling and the numbness in the distribution of median nerve and we know that the distribution of the median nerve if we talk about the distribution of median nerve this median nerve when it reaches the median nerve when it passes deep to this flexor retinaculum and as it reaches in the hand it is actually giving branches towards the thumb this index finger middle finger and half of this ring finger so it is giving branches to these uh, medial three and a half fingers we say it is giving branches till this medial three and a half fingers so this is the distribution of the median nerve not medial sorry it is the lateral three and a half fingers it is distributing supply to the lateral three and a half portion over here so now what happens if this median nerve is compressed at this point it leads to tingling sensation tingling matlab aisa lagta hai jaise suiyan chub rahi like aapko lagta hai suiyan chub rahi hai a feeling of pins and prickles a tingling sensation is a feeling of pins or prickles or or we say a burning sensation is there in the distribution of this median nerve and this this kind of sensation it usually aggravates in night or some or you can she can also complain that this pain is is seen in the night only she can also say that uh, that i feel this kind of uh, sensation in night only so this kind of tingling sensation will be there which is more seen in the night or it is exacerbated in the night and then we just perform few test we perform few test to check that if the carpal tunnel syndrome is there or not now one test is this one one test is this one what is actually we are doing in this in this test what you are doing in this you can very well see the picture over here what we are doing we are doing the hands like this now what you ask the patient is that you ask the patient to position the hands in such manner that the hands are they are completely flexed at this point and we know the median nerve which is coming over here and going into the hand now due to this maneuver due to this maneuver which is known as felin test you can see the median nerve coming like this over here what happens there is increased compression of the median nerve now the compression on the median nerve will increase so you can see and this location over here when the hand is flexed the compression of the median nerve it increases so you ask the patient to hold the hands in this position for around 10 seconds 10 to 15 seconds now after holding this position for 10 to 15 seconds if there is increase in tingling sensation if there is increase in tingling sensation like for example in this picture you can see there is an increase in tingling sensation in this side of hand so that will confirm carpal tunnel syndrome that confirms the carpal tunnel syndrome so this maneuver this test is known as felin 